My name is Christine Havelock. I'm a member of Speakers of Bromley. And the title of my speech is A Room with a View. Mm. Mr Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, I have a treasured possession and I treasure it because it's very, very old. It's a photograph taken by my grandmother over a hundred years ago. And my grandmother was in service and of course as the servant you were put in the little tiny attic room at the very top of the house. But this room had one advantage. It was a room with a view. It looked out right over Dover Harbour, over the pier, all the way to France. Mm. And this photograph is taken from that room. Because in those days, service was quite a good career. And from what I can gather, my, my grandmother was quite a good servant. Because the son of the house was rather given to having one too many. And my grandmother, it is said, was the only person who could handle him when he was drunk. When the family needed the son brought home, they would send my grandmother down to the pub to drag him out and take him home. Because my grandmother had the knack of dealing with gentlemen who'd had uh, one too many, which she had inherited from her mother. Because her father had been in the Navy, he'd been in the Anglo-Irish War, and he'd lost one of his arms. And as a result of which, he'd been given a small naval pension and he'd come back to Dover and he'd settled down and he'd got married. And every Friday, he would go to the post office to collect this pension. And of course, if his wife didn't catch him before he got out of the post office, he'd be straight over the pub and the week's food money would be spent on alcohol. So, of course, his wife and daughter had to catch him before he spent the money and take the money all off him so they could eat for the week. Now, sadly, her parents died when she was very young and my grandmother had to go into service when she was 11, uh, which was how she ended up in the room uh, with a view. Now, when she was 34, at an age in those days, and bearing in mind this is the early part of the 1900s, when any lady over 25 who was not married was considered a has-been, a write-off, an old maid, and completely past it. Mm. She suddenly upped and married the son of the house. He who drank too much, and she was the only one who could handle him. She was six years older than him, and this was a great surprise to everybody. The family were furious that he married the servant. Absolutely furious. They treated her like dirt, and I'm told they made her scrub the, step, the front steps of the boarding house they ran right up until the day she gave birth to my father. And in the christening photograph, I have a copy of the christening photograph, my grandmother is simply not in it. The baby is being held by her husband's sister. Sadly, eventually the husband died, and the day he died, the family turned her out onto the street with her children and for a number of years she was actually left destitute until my father was old enough to go out to work and pay her rent for her. However, this story does have a bit of a happy ending. In her old age, the council gave her one of these uh, special old people's bungalows which was right at the top of Shakespeare Cliff in Dover. They built a council estate and her lounge looked out over the sea to the coast of France. She could watch the ships coming backwards and forwards. So her life had come full circle as she spent her old age sitting in her lounge watching the coast of France from her room with a view. Mm.